What's going on guys, it's Tony Sauce here and in today's video we got some new leaks in the NHL video game. So I'm going to be showing you guys some uh, Twitter posts from the NHL EA Sports Twitter page. Alright yo, what I'm going to show you, it's nothing crazy, alright? It's just a little, you know, a little leak, how you doing, how you doing? Damn, I've been watching too much uh, of that show The Penguin, so I've been trying to talk like I'm a fucking Italian mobster or some shit, but yo, fuck that. Let's lock in here and take a look. Alright. This was just posted 32 minutes ago, all right? The holiday update. Now, if you've been playing Ultimate Team, you would have noticed that there are no uh, women's hockey players in the game. Like, there are, but none of, like, the top names that we saw last year, like Hillary Knight, Sarah Nurse, uh, Marie-Philippe Pouline, Taylor Heisey, like, all of those top female players aren't in the game this year and we assumed that's because like the p-dub the pwhl didn't give them the rights and now it's like an established league and stuff so a lot of people were just like yo the p-dub and ea sports haven't like signed a contract and that's why none of those players are in the game but they just posted this this is going to be the holiday update all right welcome to the chell family december 5th so we got the boston fleet minnesota frost uh, the Montreal Victoire, the New York Sirens, Ottawa Charge, and the Toronto Scepters, all right? Don't ask me how I know that. I actually am a pretty big fan of the P-Dub. I think it's kind of cool that it's like an original six teams, and I think it's cool watching like these hot hockey players play the game. So that's how I know like all of these teams. I actually fucking watch these games, and I lock in. And I'm caught up to date on the P-Dub. Honestly, I'm just waiting for them to shoot me over a contract to be like one of their top commentators, uh, sports analysts, because that would be sick. But yo, let's take a look here at what's releasing. So let me move my camera a little bit. I'm going to move. Oh, fuck. What did I just do? All right, I'm going to move my camera over here. And look what we got here. All right. Chell has something for everyone. All right. What's this? NHL Arcade. Okay. New way to play. November 15th. So that's in two days. It looks like they're going to release some sort of NHL arcade mode with like the big heads or something. And um, we got the Four Nations Face Off, Canada, Finland, Sweden, USA. That's going to be insane. So this is what they're releasing. All right, so the first thing is the 84 overall Road to Four Nations Face Off Choice Pack. Rep your nation and choose one of four available items from the country you want to represent redeemable immediately. Now I'm going to check after this. I'm going to check on the game to see if this is available. It sounds like it's available now. Um, oh, no, 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 this is going to be um, starting November 15th. So I, th I think this pack is going to come out November 15th, which is going to be Friday. So, you know, classic Friday update. And then we also got the PWHL 83 overall team building choice pack. Contains a choice of one of six PWHL players, redeemable December 5th. So mark that on your calendars, boys. A fucking 83 overall for free. That's honestly like a big fuck you to the PWHL. 83s, bro, in a month from now. Like, really? No one wants a fucking 83 overall on December 5th. Like, it, I don't even want any 83s anymore. And that's kind of a shame because, like, you know, I'm not really a big fan of, like, getting female players on my hut team. It's not, like, a sexist thing. It's more of a biology thing. It's, like, these girls are just too short to play on my team, bro. Unless you're rocking, like, Hillary Knight with Unstoppable Force. Like, these chicks are just going to get body checked by Zdeno Chara. Pfft, fucking no energy. Like, five foot th six, Sarah Nurse. Like, you're not making my roster, bro. But I think it would be cool to have, like, one PWHL player on my team. Especially because, like, they actually have jerseys now. And they have real team names. I'm not a fan of the team names. I think all of them are terrible. Except for um, the Minnesota Frost. That's actually a pretty sick name. But their logo is trash. It looks like an esports logo, bro. Like, this looks like in fucking like a professional Apex team logo or something. Boston Fleet, not a fan. And I'm not a fan of the colors, the green with the light blue. Uh, the Montreal Victoire, I, I think that that's just kind of corny. Uh, New York Sirens, like I get it. Sirens, it's, it's a hyped up city in New York, but the logo is trash. <laughs> the Ottawa Charge, I mean, bro, not a fan. <laughs> it looks like the Calgary Flames logo. It's just stupid. And then the Toronto Scepters, like... Not a fan of the colors, not a fan of the names. Uh, I think the Minnesota Frost is the only good one. I thought it was really cool when the teams didn't have uh, names. And it was just like Montreal, Boston, Minnesota. And it just said like 
Montreal going down the jersey or like Boston across the jersey. It was very uh, vintage style jerseys, and I thought it was sick, but they just ended up, you know, getting some names, which is fine. Like eventually they were going to need some names, but bro, they could have thought of some way better names. But I don't know why I'm ranting about this. At the end of the day, I'm still excited to get a PWHL card. I mean, actually, it's only 83 overall. That's tough. I'm excited to see these girls come back into the game because it is cool just seeing, like, some stud chicks in the game of Hut, especially because, like, I actually know these players. I know how they play. I know what type of players they are. So that is going to be cool. But I'm most excited to see what the cards are going to look like. I bet the PWHL cards are going to look kind of cool. Like, it's just going to be cool to see new teams introduced into the game, like a card for the Boston Fleet, a card for the Toronto Scepters, a card for the Minnesota Frost. Now, I'm going to do a quick prediction on who I think all of these players are going to be. Okay, so for the Four Nations face-off pack, it's going to be like the best player or at least like one of the best players from each of these countries. Now, for... USA, I almost think it's a lock that it's going to be Austin Matthews. It seems like they, the EA community fucking glazes uh, Matthews. They put him on the cover of Chell 20 and then Chell 22. And it's like, really, bro? You're going to give the same guy a cover athlete like multiple times? He got like the first, he always gets a ton of MSPs. Like they just fucking meat ride Austin Matthews. So I think it's a lock for um, the USA to get uh, a Austin Matthews card. For Team Canada, I think it's going to be either Nathan McKinnon or Crosby. I think it's going to be Crosby or Nathan McKinnon. For Finland, I think it's going to be Barkov. And then for Sweden, I'm going to say Victor Hedman. I'm almost positive Victor Hedman is from Sweden, but that's that's going to be pretty cool to get one of these players. Austin Matthews, Victor Hedman, Barkov, and then uh, fucking McKinnon. Or actually, I'm going to lock in Crosby. So those are my predictions for this. Now, my predictions for the PWHL pack. I think all of these players are going to be locks for these teams. So Boston is going to be Hillary Knight. Toronto is going to be Sarah Nurse. Uh, Montreal is going to be Marie-Philippe Pouline. For the Frost, it's going to be um, Taylor Heisey. And then we have New York Sirens and the Ottawa Charge. Now, I got to take a look at their rosters because I don't even fucking know. All right, we got the... New York Sirens here. Uh, let's take a look. I mean, bro, like, those unis are ugly, bruh. What a shame, I mean. Especially because it's New York. Like, all right, all right. These actually look kind of cool, but I'm still not really a fan of the colors. Like, the light blue with the navy? Come on, bruh. All right. Jesse Eldridge. Vespa. Who do I know that's an absolute tank? I think Alex Carpenter. All right. Um, No one here is really a standout. At least, like, no one here that I can remember. Wow, Alex Carpenter's from uh, North Reading, Massachusetts. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I don't recognize, like, like none of these players got Team of the Year last year or, like, a really good cards. I'm just going to toss out a guess. It's going to be Alex Carpenter right here. She's, like, the only one that I can, that I remember. So Alex Carpenter. And then we got the Ottawa Charge. Now let's take a look at the... Ottawa Charge here. Oh, come on, really? PWHL website's not even working. PWHL, you guys got to get a, uh, a technician out here. All right, so New York Sirens, I guess it's going to be Alex Carpenter. Ottawa Charge. Ottawa Charge is going to be, let's see, I'm actually not really remember. Emily Clark. It's going to be Emily Clark. Uh, yeah, Adolfson, that's a reckless name. Let's go look at Minnesota Frost, because it's, it's either going to be, um, Taylor Heisey or Kendall Coyne Schofield. It's probably going to be Kendall Coyne Schofield, honestly, but yo, my wife Taylor Heisey right here, I mean, come on, bro. Woo! Dime, bro. 13 points last year. In 19 games, she had four goals, nine assists, pretty solid. What about Kendall Coyne Schofield? Um, 24 games, she had 16 points, 6 goals, 10 assists. What is she, a forward? Yeah, she's a forward. 1992, so she's what, like 32? Dude, also the, oh, they also have Megan Keller. Dude, Boston has a pretty good team here. Megan Keller, and their goalie's a beast. Uh, Frankel, she's nasty. Very good player here. And then last one is going to be Toronto Scepters. I said it was Sarah Nurse, right? Yeah, Sarah Nurse. Did I miss anyone? No, no, no. All right, yeah, so those are my picks. Hillary Knight. 
Taylor Heisey or Kendall Coyne Schofield, the Marie Philippe Pouline. Um, New York Sirens is going to be Alex Carpenter. Ottawa Charge is going to be. Uh, if, who did I say for Ottawa Charge? Man, I'm all over the place. Emily Clark. And then Toronto Scepters is going to be uh, Sarah Nurse. Ooh, Natalie Spooner, potentially. Yeah, it could be Natalie Spooner or Sarah Nurse. And uh, yeah, those are my picks. So yeah, that's it for the little leak here, boys. I, I think I might be the first one reporting on it. The headlines right here. Um, that's going to be sick. Honestly, the P-Dub in NHL is going to be a big W. I know a lot of players aren't going to be like hunting for those cards, but I still think the more cards, the better, especially if you want to do theme teams. Like I actually might make a PWHL themed line for like my third or fourth line. Just get like three straight girls on the line. I think that'd be really cool. And then for all the girls that play Hut, I know that there's a solid amount of chicks that are playing hut and this is a massive w for the girls like they definitely are fans of the p-dub how could they not be and to have them introduced into the game is going to be sick and i bet the cards are going to be really cool it's just going to be it's just going to be cool seeing like the actual teams introduced into the game so i'm excited for this that's about it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it once again it's your boy tony sauce make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video peace